one could say, of course, that we know Allah watches over us and over everything. We know that. That's, that's something you learn in kindergarten. That's obvious. We teach our children this. But does it have an effect on us? Does knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our raqib change our behavior in any way? Are we vigilant of what we are doing? Are we aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching? Are we, are we careful when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching? When we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching? The best example is if there's a cop behind you while you're driving, how is your driving? You're no longer speeding, you're no longer running stoplights, you're no longer you know, making bad turns and whatever else, because there's a cop behind you. But Allah is watching us. What do we do knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us? And the problem is that we forget. We forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching over us. There's a story of Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu when he was the Khalifa. He would walk around Medina at nighttime to make sure his, his subjects, his servants, you know, the, the Muslimin, were in good situation. And so he walked by this one house and he heard a mother and a daughter speaking. And the mother was telling the daughter to add some water to the milk so that it becomes greater in volume and when we sell it, we can get more profit. And so the daughter says, do you not know that Umar has commanded the believers and that this is forbidden? He has commanded the believers not to add, you know, not to, not to change the measurement or not to add you know, substances to, to what we're selling. And the mother says, well, Umar's not here now, so how's he gonna know? And so the girl responds, she said, if Umar is not here, his Lord certainly sees. And so Umar bin Khattab was so impressed with this young woman that he went back the next day with his son and he engaged, her, he engaged him to that, to that girl. This daughter had such an awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she was even preventing her parent from disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though he was not there. And this mother actually became uh, one of her children, one of her descendants was Umar bin Abdul Aziz, one of the righteous Khalifa after the four that came in afterwards. Uh, and there is another incident of, uh, with, uh, with Umar radiallahu anhu. He wanted to again check on his people. So he went and he found a young shepherd, a young shepherd boy. And he asked the boy if he would sell him one of the sheep. And the boy said, it's not mine. I can't sell it to you. I'm just a shepherd, I'm just watching them. Omar, he wanted to press him a little bit harder. So he said, if your master asks, tell him that the sheep was eaten by a wolf. And so the boy looked at Omar bin Khattab and he says, and what would I say to him, to Allah? And Omar began weeping. And he says, by Allah, you are right. What would you say to Allah? We have to think within ourselves. There's two stories, right? The milk seller and the shepherd boy. They had an awareness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. They knew that they couldn't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even for a small thing, even if they could get away with it. How much are we observant of that fact? How much are we careful of that fact? When temptation comes to us, when shaitan comes to us and tries to take us away, do we pay attention to that fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching?